Hello everybody. Today we're going to take a look at how changing needles can reduce pain of intramuscular injections. Right now, as a newbie, uh, we tend, a lot of us tend to make this mistake and that includes me when I first started testosterone replacement therapy where you use the same needle for drawing medication as well as for injecting, right? And that um, can bring with it some pain because as the needle that you're using goes into the vial, for example, you'll see that there's a sort of rubber head on top here. So the needle will go in and then it will come out and then you use that to inject. And in that process, it's getting blunt. And so when you use that needle on yourself, it's a lot more blunter and, and not as sharp. And then that brings with it pain. It makes the, the injection more painful. And so, We've all talked about on the channel before how you should swap needles between injections, one for drawing your medication and then one for injecting so that you have a sharper needle. Also, another reason that you swap needles sometimes is because maybe you will you use a thicker one to draw the medication and then a thinner one to inject the medication into your skin. But today I just wanted to sort of raise a point again because a lot of newbies and this channel is specifically aimed at beginners of TRT, a lot of them make this mistake and I today I wanted to highlight the studies or the research that was done that just confirms this somewhat obvious fact that swapping needles reduces pain. So let's have a look at that study quickly. This is from the Journal of Advanced Nursing Study 2010. The title is Effect on Pain of Changing the Needle Prior to Administering Medicine Intramuscularly, a Randomized Control Trial. AIM, this paper is the report of a study to determine whether changing the needles before administering an intramuscular injection could reduce pain. The background, a skilled injection technique can make the patient's experience less painful and avoid unnecessary complications and the use of separate needles to draw up and administer medication ensures that the tip of the needle is sharp and free from medication residue, right? So what were the results? Findings demonstrated that changing the needle prior to intramuscular medication administration significantly reduced pain intensity. A statistical difference in pain intensity was observed between the two injection techniques. And the final conclusion, the results supported the hypothesis that changing the needle prior to administering the medicine significantly reduced pain intensity. So, like I said in the beginning, it's somewhat obvious, you know, it makes sense if you're gonna sort of blunt the needle, it makes sense that you wanna swap it and use a sharper one. One point I wanted to highlight, this study wasn't just for testosterone replacement therapy, it was for any sort of medication that was administered intramuscularly. Now, with some, sometimes with testosterone replacement therapy, you'll get these large vials, right? And that specifically will blunt your needle because it's got to go through that rubber seal every time in and out and that blunts the needle. But obviously if you're using an ampule, like a lot of us are using for testosterone replacement therapy, you snap this open, it doesn't, the needle doesn't really have to go through anything first to draw it up. So in a case like this, you're probably safe using the same needle, um, but this is obviously just a medic, uh, medicinal best practice to follow. Um, you know, those, those, that's the research and what the general practitioners are advising, but you can also sort of make your own uh, judgment calls on these types of things. I know in the past, when I've been doing ampules and that if I was using the same needle to draw and to inject, then I wouldn't swap needles, I'd just use the same one. But now, because I do use a thinner needle for injecting and a thicker one for drawing, I swap them anyway, so it's no difference. But it's really up to you. I just wanted to highlight that. So for, for beginners, if you're not aware, you might be using the same needle to draw and to inject, then if you're experiencing a bit of pain, then one tip now that you know is to just swap needles before injecting and that can reduce the pain significantly as we've seen in the study. And that's it, till next time.